Hi there and welcome back to my channel, The Sunday Cook. Tonight I'm preparing a very special dinner. I'm going to be preparing something I've always wanted to make but never had the opportunity to make it because it utilizes an ingredient that uh, is not something that I would typically get every day. Let's just say it's a tiny little investment but it's so worthwhile. If you want to find out more, make sure that you subscribe by pressing the subscribe button <laughs> below. And the next couple of episodes will all be about delicious dishes that are perfect for dinner parties, especially in the run up to New Year's Eve. I know some of you are going to be entertaining friends and having gatherings at home. And I just wanted to bring something a little bit more special, a little bit more elegant. Um, to my dinner table. So stay tuned and let's get on with the recipe. So the recipe I'm going to make is a pasta with black truffle. There's really only four or five ingredients that you need. Five ingredients, really easy, but so decadent and so um, satisfying. And that's fresh pasta. And then my ingredient is the black truffle. This one is a winter truffle. Then the other ingredient is a really good um, Parmesan cheese, which I have right there, and some pasta water, some salt and pepper, and that's really it. So don't forget, in your stock pot, you should have plenty of water and plenty of salt. Allow it to boil, and then when it's bubbling, add your pasta directly into the water and cook as long as it needs to until it's al dente. Here I'm using some unsalted butter, which I'm going to melt. I've melted my butter and it's gone in a little bit of a golden very light brown and the reason for that is because I need to have a little bit of a um, nutty flavor um, to the finished dish so you'll see um, when you finish cooking your pasta you'll need to take about a cup of pasta water and that's going to be used to, to mix with the pasta and the the cheese and it'll create and the butter and it'll create an emulsion and that will create a really smooth silky um, finished sauce a little bit of my truffle a small amount actually goes a really long way okay can you see how the sauce is really coating every strand and it's um, become really emulsified I think I can add a fraction more in here smell the truffle really unctuous. I'm gonna season with some salt. Not too much because the cheese is already quite salty. And then I'm going to use white pepper. I'm finding that with uh, white pepper it's, it's a little bit um, less Strong than black pepper, and I don't want to use too much black pepper in this particular dish. There we go. 
every strand is glistening. I think we can add a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And I want really paper thin. So I think I'm gonna do it this way. See, when you first get it, it goes like that. And then, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna start chaining. It should essentially melt. There you go. It looks really generous, but really I've only used about a third of my truffle. And now it's time to eat. about the um, the pasta dish with the truffle yeah the black Christmas truffle that's the winter truffle. winter truffle mm -hmm. yeah it was really nice yeah oh yeah a really nice flavor yeah yeah I'm looking forward to boxing day because <laughs> we still have more truffle to go <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to the Sunday cook it's been a long while love wow. Be ready in a minute. Huh? Be ready in a minute. Oh. I thought it was going to be a while before there was videoing. I am videoing, but I'm ready. What has happened? Oh gosh, lots has happened. So I just popped my plates in the microwave. <laughs> little trick to keep them nice and hot, nice and warm. Ooh, it's a bit, a bit too hot. We got married. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was busy with work. Pasta like the one that I have, which uh, work has been really fun and lots of big projects. So I've kind of had to put the Sunday cook to uh, pause for a few moments. But now I'm back and the next couple of episodes is called um, Sarese Lunge. Hmm. Anyway, this is what it's called. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of The Sunday Cook. It was so much fun creating this really simple but decadent dish. And I can't wait to do it again. Um, if you want, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more recipes from my tiny kitchen to yours.